what's up? Brent from Brent Speed here, and what the heck was that? Well, that was a coyote swapped Fox Body Mustang. So, you always see a lot of the same things, and I thought, you know, I'm just going to bring this car out on the dyno, tell you a little bit about it, and let you see what we have going on here. So, that behind me, if you've not been on the social media world or seen us at NMRA races or been in our shop, that is what we call Roush Fox. That is a Fox Body Mustang powered by a Coyote Roush Supercharged driven by Steph Davies from Roush Performance. Let's take a look at this car and I want to tell you a little bit more about it. Okay, actually before we take a closer look, I want to give you a little bit of history on this car. So, Steph from Roush had this Fox Body Mustang as her daily driver. She had a dream of being a racer and she wanted to race an NMRA Ford Muscle Class. If you don't know what that is, it's an index class and that means you pick a time, it can be like a 14 second car, a 10 flat car, whatever, but it's going to be like 10-0, 10-50, 11-0, 11-50, -11 and she wanted to run this car in the NMRA and she wanted to be fast. Well, I had a responsibility as a builder and she's, you know, had some seat time, but Fox Body, a fast Fox Body can be a little crazy going down the track. It's not like driving an S197 Mustang. It can be a little bit more unstable. I had to do a lot to slow this car down. So when she first started racing, I said, hey, I want to set you up at 11.0 in this car. You've never even been in the car before. We're going to set you up at 11.0, which is like one of the simplest things in the world. This car with me in it is like 3,300 pounds. Her, probably about 3,200 pounds. I had to do a lot to slow the car down. So I ran like a big 85 millimeter pulley on it. And then I had to pull a ton of timing out, add a bunch of fuel. And the car was like right around 1080, 1090 in that form. And that was a really good ET to be able to run 11.0 class but she wanted to go faster and she did some races like that and I said okay now we're gonna turn you up to 1050 so we put on an 82 millimeter pulley again detuned the car not much timing a bunch of fuel and that car in that form right there typically goes out and runs 1020 1030 in the quarter mile at about anywhere from 130 to 134 mile an hour depends on the track the DA all those you know drag race conditions it's a little little too fast if you're gonna run in a 1050 index you really want the car to run maybe 1040. It's a little easier to slow it down and run your 1050 time. But this car is so easy to make fast. I've pulled so much power out of it and it goes out and runs like 1020s, 1030s. So what we're gonna do for the next event is speed her up a little bit more. So the car is only legal for 10 flat. So I'm gonna make it run about 980. So I'll just put a little bit more boost in it. It has an 82 millimeter pulley right now. That's what size pulley was on the dyno with the detune. So with not much timing, a bunch of fuel, the car made like 600 rural horsepower, it has a very, very small stall. So it doesn't come out of the hole hard. It's probably only like a 2500. So when she launches, I mean, it's not like a wheels up launch. It just basically scoots, takes off well. She runs faster than her index. We slow the car down at the track. But now it's time to make the car run about 980, which again, on a car like this, it's gonna be super, super easy and she'll be able to run her 10 index. It's got a maximum motorsports roll cage and that's really only legal for 10 flat and a quarter mile. So we wanna stay legal racing in the NMRA. So that's what we're gonna do. Make it a little faster, do that. That's the history on the car. If you haven't seen it on social media, it's an awesome Fox body with the C4 transmission. So easy to make fast, it's ridiculous. I have spent this year at the track with her slowing the car down and normally at the track trying to make the car faster, but we've been making it slower. Now it's time to speed it up. Let's take a little bit closer look. All right, let's take a look at the drivetrain. Check it out, Coyote Swap. So this is a stock 11 to 14 Coyote Mustang engine, not out of an F-150. These are the type of engines that you can buy here at Brent Speed or you can find other places, but it's a stock engine. On top, we have a Roush 2.3 liter supercharger. The same thing you find on our S3 Mustang. The same thing you find in all our brand speed packages where we have our 650R or 710R. It's the exact same supercharger. It runs a factory GT500 throttle body and a Roush cold air intake. Mounted to the back, performance automatic C4. The computer system is the just the Ford Performance control pack. It was pretty easy to calibrate. It has very few wires. Really good product to use when you're doing a Coyote swap. And the back of the car, rear end built by Strange strange axles, everything you need. So when you go out with you know the power and torque this car has, you're not gonna break the stock 8.8 .8 rear end. I think it's a cool setup. It runs really, really good. Very easy to make fast. And as I said, a long tube headers with an off-road X-pipe because it's a drag car. 
no uh, mufflers on the car, so it's pretty loud. That's why I had earphones on when I was on the dyno. Let's take a look at the side of the car so you can see how it stands with the suspension on it. Now, most of the suspension on the Roush Fox is from Maximum Motorsports. They have a lot of Coyote Swap stuff. So the tubular K-member and the A-arms are from Maximum. And it does have some Stifler suspension for traction. So underneath this car is full of Stifler's products. They have all kinds of things out there to help with the power down to the ground. But then check this out right here. It's got a set of JMS wheels with my favorite, Mickey Thompson tires. So these are the ET Street SS tires. They put the power down to the ground. Not a problem. That's a suspension on the car. Let's go inside. I do really, really like the interior of the Roush Fox. So when you're building a race car, there's things you have to have, like a Max Motorsports roll bar, which is in the Roush Fox. Something you got to have. There's nothing you can do about it. And it does have a set of Sparco racing seats. But all in all, the interior is about 90% complete. There's a couple things I like to do, like a center console. It doesn't have one. It has a really great Hirsch shifter down here. But check out the dash. All factory gauges, an OEM Ford steering wheel, not the factory, but OEM Ford one. And the Monster Tech has the shift light, which allows you to shift with the manual shift transmission. The light will come on, boom, shift. Then you know when you're out racing, the best time to do that. But one of my all-time favorite things on the interior, and one of my biggest pet peeves on a race car, is this right here. I love the fact that the factory ignition is hooked up to the Coyote Swap. A lot of people want to put in a bunch of toggle switches, push buttons, you know, race car stuff. You can have a race car and run like a factory key. I know it didn't seem like much, but I like getting in this car, putting the key in, starting it, and that was one of the main things when we're hooking up the Ford Performance Control Pack. We had to make a you know, couple switches in the wiring and everything worked properly, but it was well worth the time to get in this car, fire it up with a key. It's very much like a stock interior. Carpet, headliner, everything's still here. And thank you for watching this. This is the Roush Fox. Follow it on social media, at Roush Fox. Tons of stuff out there, videos. I think you'll enjoy following the car throughout her racing career. And as we do more mods to it, you can really find up-to-date stuff online. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. I always appreciate the questions. Leave a comment. And that's all for today. So thanks again.